Hi, I'm Cheryl, and then today we're going to be replacing the start relay and overload in a Maytag refrigerator. You may need to replace the start relay and overload if your compressor isn't starting, or if your refrigerator is too warm. This repair should only take about 15 minutes. For this repair, we're only going to need two tools, a quarter inch nut driver, and a flathead screwdriver. If you don't already have a new start relay and overload, they are available for purchase on our website. Before repairing any appliance, always make sure it is completely disconnected from the power source. For this repair, we're going to be working on the bottom of the back of the refrigerator, so just be sure to give yourself some room. We'll start by removing the quarter inch screws around the back panel. and set the back panel to the side. So here we have the start relay and overload. The first thing we need to do is disconnect this ground wire. So we just pull that loose. If you have a hard time disconnecting that, you may just need a little help prying it off with a flathead screwdriver. And next we can release the clip that's holding the start, the start relay and the overload in place. So um, you can just take our flat blade screwdriver, unhook it from the compressor, and then unhook it from the bottom of the frame. Now what we need to do is carefully remove the start relay from the compressor. Just gently pull out from the compressor. until you remove it here. You'll need to disconnect the wire harness here. Take your flathead screwdriver, place it inside the wire harness to pry it up to release it. Now we can remove the capacitor from the start relay. So that'll just pull off like so. And now you can replace your start relay. Okay, now that you have your new start relay, you can put your old capacitor right on, line up the hole and the terminals on the bottom, push it into place, and we can rehook up the wires. We'll see the three stems that will line up on the compressor. Just be very careful with those. Press securely on there. Now we can replace the metal clip. The large curve then goes on the bottom. Put that into place. Line it up. And then you can use your flat blade pull that over the top and put it into place. And now we can replace the back panel. The power cord actually has a place to screw into the back panel here as well, so make sure those are lined up. And that's it, here's a quick recap. All of our OEM parts and tools are available for purchase on our website. Check them out along with our social media sites here.